So Marfan syndrome is a connective tissue disorder. Um, it affects your connective tissue, which is basically what holds your body together. It's like the glue that holds your body together. Um, in Marfan's, that glue is a little bit weaker than everybody else's. So it can affect the heart, it can affect the eyes, it can affect, um, in my son's cases, the feet. Um, and in, with everybody, it's different. So it kind of depends on the person. But the heart is a big deal because they call it a life-threatening genetic disorder because a person with Marfan's tends to have their aorta tends to be larger and weaker than most people's. So the doctors don't recommend people with Marfan's to get into contact sports or anything that can really give the person a big blow to the chest. Um, so they have to be very protective of their chest area. It's like affected about one in 5,000 people. So, and it's a genetic disorder. So in my case, um, my husband has it. So both my sons actually, there was a 50-50 chance and both of them ended up getting Marfan's. Um, but with my husband, his parents do not have Marfan's and we don't really know where the Marfan's came from unless it came from the womb where the, that particular gene was just affected and he became affected with Marfan's. It was discovered by a doctor, a French doctor, I'm like in the 18, 1898, I think, um, Antoine Marfan, and he was the one that figured it out that there was a connective tissue disorder. So he was the one that got it named after him. But as far as, um, I just know like recent famous people that might have it. Um, I know there's a guy that's in a band named uh, Of Mice and Men, and he's the lead singer and he's affected with it. And so I follow him on Facebook to kind of see what he goes through. Right now he's in the hospital. So <laughs> apparently he goes through quite a bit. <laughs> he's in the hospital quite often. So Ehlers-Danlos syndrome is a very much similar to Marfan syndrome. So a lot of people that have that condition tend to group themselves together with the people in the Marfan syndrome category as well.